Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're gonna be sharing how we transformed this Butility cocktail cabinet into um, a bright and colorful art deco piece. So just giving it a really good clean here. Um, we bought this off eBay. Um, the legs unfortunately had quite bad woodworms so we had to remove those and uh, treat the rest of the body of the cabinet to make sure um, there was no woodworm in there. I think it was just in the legs because we couldn't find anything else in the body. And because we're going to be using quite a few different colours on this piece I just wanted to tape off all the areas that bit there I was taping off was sort of a brass piece along the edging and then just taping up inside and to prep so really wanted to feature the lovely wooden grain that was on on the top of the piece and also those um, cabinet fronts that you can see with that beautiful walnut grain uh, so strip those back with some paint stripper. I used one called Paint Panther, which is one you get here in the UK. Just going in with some fine grade steel wool and some mineral spirits and just going over the areas I've stripped uh, with that, which just stops the chemical reaction of the stripper and gets any um, final bits of um, old finish off with that steel wool but because it's so fine it doesn't scratch the surface um, just when you're doing um, something like this make sure to wear uh, gloves really really important because it is uh, very toxic so make sure to wear gloves and if you are not in a well ventilated area then a mask as well but here um, as you can see uh, the doors are wide open and there's plenty of fresh air. So the first colour that we're going to be using is um, French Chic Paint and it's called Steel Teal, which is this beautiful teal colour. So the outside of the cocktail cabinet is getting painted in steel teal, except for the, the uh, cupboard fronts and the top. This is such a such a beautiful colour. Quite bold, but really, really lovely. And this is why we like to make sure we tape off so that we get sort of good crisp finishing lines. When you peel back that tape, it's a nice straight line of paint. Here. Now the second colour that we're using is um, Authentico paint. We're using their plum, plum colour. So the inside of the cabinet is getting painted in this really beautiful um, plum colour. Um, and the reason for these two colour choices is the wallpaper that we'll be using to cover the outside door front and also the inside shelves. Those two colours, um, it complements it beautifully. So here's that beautiful wallpaper, it's the champagne gold with these blue cranes. Now I'm, it took me three attempts 
to get this right and I wanted to include it because it's not always straightforward and easy it does take um, a few attempts sometimes on this first attempt I didn't like the way that it had um, cut along the edge so I pulled it off on the second attempt it was only one side pasted it all down that I realized I didn't like the positioning that the crane's head would actually be cut out when I removed that oval bit in the center. So now, third time lucky, I am going in with some just PVA glue and pasting that over the wood, then sticking down uh, the wallpaper, which I've pre-cut to size roughly. Um, I'll trim it down once it's it's stuck on but just so that it's it's roughly the the right size then just using a soft cloth here to push down the paper and make sure there's no air bubbles and just to get it in tight along those edges yeah so just pushing pushing that down burnishing it down uh, as I work my way down that cabinet front. then just taking a sharp craft knife and running it along the edge to remove any excess paper. I tend to wait for the glue to have dried before I remove um, any, any of the paper just because when that glue and paper is still wet the the paper tends to tear more when you're trying to cut it once it's dried you get a lot cleaner of a cut you need to make sure that your blade is really sharp as well for doing things like this otherwise you are just going to get um, rough torn edges when you try and cut it So here I'm just cutting um, the mid, uh, roughly the middle part out and making little slits in the paper so that I can really push it into the groove behind the um, little metal rim around the oval. Um, so that's giving me more flexibility in the paper to be able to do that. And then just measuring out the paper, finding the matching pattern so that I can cut that and, and, and stick it down. Again only making sort of a rough rough cut because once it's glued down then I'll make a more precise cut. Again, just burnishing that down along the edges, making sure that it's stuck down well. No air bubbles.
just wiping away any excess glue that's been squeezed out. Here I'm just covering the front of the drawers with that same wallpaper. Just cutting the shape, leaving about an extra inch on the edge. PVA glue you could use some mod podge as well for this um, but I didn't have any to hand so I was just using um, regular craft PVA glue and to make sure the paper stuck on that rounded edge I just popped it down on the floor resting on that edge to dry going in with a 1200 grit sandpaper where I've stripped back the finish on these cabinet fronts and then wipe them down. I just want to give them a gentle sand with the really high grit sandpaper that 1200 grit just to get it nice and smooth and then um, I'm going to use Osmo oil to go over that and give it a really lovely finish just bring out that wood grain again Osmo oil is one of our favorite favorite products to use on wood pieces it just makes the 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 grain pop it's just beautiful plus it adds really good protection really durable that's 400 grit that I'm going on on the top And when applying the coats of Osmo oil, I'll normally use sort of a 1200 grit sandpaper in between coats just to smooth it off and make sure that finish is really lovely and smooth. To the drawers drawers have uh, dried now where I've uh, again PVA the wallpaper into the glue into the drawers and they've dried I'm just going in now with that sharp craft knife and cutting around the edges to get um, a really crisp finish And then um, found the Mod Podge. Now I'm going to go in and give that paper a layer of Mod Podge over it just to um, add some protection to it. Uh, hopefully what that'll do is it'll seal it in and then um, a couple of layers of that. And I also like to use um, a varnish will make that quite hard wearing. So if anything gets spilt on it, then it can be wiped back. Um, it's not just going to immediately um, tear or get marked. There is an element of protection to it.
Now using the Osmo oil over the top of the cabinet. And you can just see that instant transformation that it gives uh, the wood. So here's some before pictures just to remind you of what it looked like and here's how she looks after we're so so happy with the way this look this is one of um, one of our favorite transformations that we've done thank you for watching to the end and if you like what you saw subscribe stick around for some more videos and see you next time